The Jim and Terry Show with a new theme song. Jim, you're going to have to take it away because I don't know. Holiday Road. Which sounded an awful lot like <clears throat> Billy Joel from the 1980s. And his wife was in that movie. Christy or- Brinkley. Yeah, I think I think he was married to her. I think so. I'm not sure that they were married, but I do know Uptown Girl was a revenge song. <laughs> <laughs> You've been living in your uptown world. Yeah. What are we talking about? Um, Conspiracies. Change, okay, so change the song. Oh. Well, I'll do that, but change the word from holiday to... Conspiracy Road. Conspiracy Road. Conspiracy Road. Okay, what are we talking about? Conspiracies. Yes. Well, let's start out with... um, Did we go to the moon? I was going to start off with something a little closer to home and more vibrant and just say that uh, at least one of the GOP candidates, Vivek Ramasay, uh, believes in some conspiracies and... If one GOP candidate believes in conspiracy theories, perhaps there are others. And what are the other conspiracy theories that other people might believe? Marjorie's such a right would to make Kishin green or something, right? <laughs> oh, that was the Jewish space lasers <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> oh. Okay, where's that? Conspir- I don't know what that is. <laughs> Vacuuming or something. But. How did that happen? I have no idea. Okay. Um, let's just pause for a second. Okay, we just paused for a second and we solved what that mysterious whining was in the background. It was an alien. (laughs) (laughs) Caught in the central vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're little. They're really little. They are. And now we know how they get around. They get sucked into the vacuum. Terry's central vac just decided to go off on its own. That's right. Just all of a sudden, out of nowhere. That's right. And while everybody's standing around, I <laughs> said, my wife and daughter, well, what's that? <laughs> the problem solving of science. Well, let's unplug the device. <laughs> <laughs> and stopped. It stopped when you unplugged let's it. Let's check the sensors to make sure that none of the caps have been inadvertently opened up. Anyway, conspiracy theory. We could have been abducted by a giant, I'm um, reminded of Spaceballs the movie, Vacu Suck. Where they suck the oxygen out of the atmosphere using a giant vacuum cleaner. Yes, that was the Jim and Terry show, sucking our brains out with our central vac. Okay, talking about conspiracy theories. You're talking about the moon. Well, I know there's a lot of people that think we didn't go to the moon. Still. And to me, it's elementary that we did. And one of the main reasons, of course, I believe that is because the adversaries of the United States, those who were in the space race... Uh, mainly the Soviet Union would be the first to the table to say they faked the whole bloody thing, followed by China and probably Iraq and all kinds of other countries would say they okay. never did it. They did it. And now let me explain what happened because I, I saw a video the, video the other day when he was talking about, oh, we could do it back in 1969, 70, and we, we, we haven't got the technology to do it now. Well, that's true. And I, I mentioned it to you, Terry, that uh, back in the 50s, we had the most advanced jet uh, in the world. Canada did. It was called the Avro Errol, Errol. And it was the most advanced jet ever. It would dominate the skies. It was the best ever. But then another government was elected in in Canada, and they immediately didn't just stop the project dismantled all the jets and got rid of all the plans to that jet. Cut up all the models. And never it never came again. The same thing happened in the American space program when they decided that the moon, let's face it, they went to the moon to beat the Soviet Union. They to say beat they them, could. To say they could and beat the Soviet Union, plant the American flag, they did it. All the rest of it was, why are we doing this anymore? We, we, we know there's just rocks. Who knows? There might have been aliens there. But my point being, another government, another president was elected, and they just eliminated it. And not only eliminated it, they did what they did in Canada. They got rid of all the plans and everything else. So it would be like starting all over again. And that rocket had over a million working parts to get it to the moon. And you stood in the nozzle. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So we went to the moon. It's just obvious to all get out not only that they actually have pictures of the uh, artifacts and things left behind 
by other satellites that have orbited the moon. And if you think Russia, when it orbited the moon, didn't take a look at the sites, of course they did. And nobody's saying they didn't go to the moon because, of course, they did go to the moon. Not only them, but everybody else followed suit. Yeah, and now everybody wants to go back. Now, that's your conspiracy. Why? Like, I mean, unbelievably wants to go back. I hear the real estate is cheap. It is. Australia wants to Not Australia. Um... Israel wants to go back. They're, India. India failed the first time. They're on their way again right yep. now, I think, as we're speaking. China. Uh, and China wants to go there. And, of course, the United States with Canada and the European Union and stuff lending a hand in all of those. I think maybe the European Union is going to go on their own, too. So there's something about the moon that's attracted. There's your conspiracy. Not that we didn't go. We went. Why we stayed off it for that long is probably the technology was lost. Or the aliens told us not to come back. That's what my dad said. They told <laughs> the us not to go back. Aliens hiding behind a crater, giving us the middle finger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so there's one of the conspiracies. The, the other conspiracy theory is that the moon is hollow. Yeah, and what if it was, man? That's cool. Well, it's... <laughs> well, in terms of origins sure of the it universe, it? it's not hollow, because that's what we know about <laughs> cores and planets. So, yeah. Um, but it did ring like a bell when it was smacked. Well, it vibrated as anything would vibrate. Even you and I would, your head vibrates if somebody <laughs> smacks you with something. So, yeah, okay. But all, it all things vibrated for an extra long period of time. Uh, okay, I'm not sure about all of that. So we'll no, have I'm to. I'm not either. I'm no, not going we'll to delve into it. Okay, so it. why do conspiracy theories persist? Well, there's. Uh, you take not going to the moon. Immediately, people like my dad, God rest his beloved soul, love him dearly, and I wish he was around now because he'd have a field day with this stuff. Uh, he said, well, they told us not to go back. They. That's they told us not to go back. And there's different recordings of, you know, the, the astronauts saying they were there, they were looking at us, you know, and uh, that kind of stuff. So you... These things get stretched out, and we just fill in the blanks, right? We do. We, humans have this marvelous gift of filling in the space between two dots. Yeah, yeah. And part of it is we're curious beings, and we want different things. We want to know that there are aliens, and the only reason we're not seeing them is because the government's Yeah, we want hiding. to know that we're not alone, I think. Yeah, yeah. Is I have no things. problem with that, by the way. I'm just curious that if there's any other beings... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just curious. Well, now, think, I, might, I may hate it as they're lasering my city and burning everybody like ants <laughs> in an anthill. I don't know, you know. Oh, boy. Um, I am curious now since James Webb Space Telescope has brought back these images that are now at least one theory that I shared with you is claiming that the universe is at least twice as old as they thought. Yeah, well, I, I take all of it with a grain of salt. I understand. And... Uh, but I know they, that Ch Japanese, Chinese looking man, I don't know if he's American physicist. He said, we're going to have to rewrite the books, of physics, because they're now discovering things like gigantic galaxies that are younger than the ones that are closest to us mm -hmm. or something like that. And through physics, that's impossible with what we understand. So that's why I think you always got to weigh science up and, and science is a discovery it is. Platform. It is. And, and it can be changed. I, I told you uh, way back in okay. the day. Okay, hold, hold on. We got to... Uh, oh, here we get defensive. I'm just making sure that we understand the scope of things. Science is a discovery process. Yeah. When the process yields the provable results, it moves from theory into science proven. Well, not and necessarily. I just, Sometimes the some of the theories, theories get adjusted proven. if there's new technology invented well, that changes. Well, then that's not proven, really. It's, it's proven, proven what you based know with on the knowledge what we you know. have. But to throw it out is to say, yeah, science changes. No, science does not change. All right, whatever the, way you want to put yeah, it. I just want to make sure that we I know. remember back in the day they saw the first supernova. <laughs> and they said on TV, it's not acting. No, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. And it was the first one they ever saw. And I thought, oh, arrogant man, come on. You don't know it's everything. It's not doing what we uh, thought it determined was do. yeah. by our calculations yeah. so based on what we know. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's all. I think okay. we're saying the same thing. 
Okay. Um, Anyways. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure that science right, is not fine. poo-pooed because and, – and it is a big thing for me because people like Professor Peter Hotez have been – their careers have been slammed lately in the last few years because he – stuck his neck out and said yes covid's real yes it is a virus yes we can mitigate it yes we can create a vaccine and yes vaccines do work and there's oh, a that's whole, just a conspiracy there's theory. a whole anti-science <laughs> branch and uh, well, I'm not Dr. Anti- Susan Oliver is among those who goes after the conspiracy yeah, theories no, I'm not, I'm not regarding- anti-science this was supposed to be a yeah, that quick. That's how quick wow. this Well, if it wasn't for the aliens. <laughs> if it wasn't for the humming, aliens, you know, did they get vaccinated, I wonder? And yeah. did Anyways, they wear masks? Anyway, so conspiracy theories, we, we went to the moon. My my belief, there's yeah. people who just refuse, same as there's people who refuse the earth is round. Yeah. It's flat. Yeah. And they're wrong. It's not flat. Uh, at this point in our podcast, should we get out our uh, tinfoil hats, our pyramids? Do you remember the curse of the leaves? Red Kelly put those pyramids under the seats of the bench of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mine is permanently under my hat, sorry. <laughs> that, that explains the shape of your head. All right. The, we were talking about conspiracy theories, and the moon was just one of them. Vivek Ramasi is also a bit of a surprise because he did say that he thought uh, 9-11 is a conspiracy so it begins with little things, and you've got to say, well, if you believe this, what else do you believe? Well, and there's people who just love to be into conspiracies. I like conspiracies, yes, but, but I don't you, believe them. There you go. So yeah. you and I enjoy the mystery of it. It's like yeah. reading a crime novel. You just yeah. like it. It doesn't mean you'll believe well, it. Well, maybe your mind goes to what if, and that's interesting. I don't know. What if? I do like the what ifs of life, the yeah. hypothetical. I wonder. And yet in law, you're not supposed to deal with the hypotheticals. Stick with the facts, man. Nothing but the facts. Wonder, wonder. Who wrote the book? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, not sure where that was going. The Jim and Terry Show signing off.